Today is our third official Elevate Volleyball Tournament. We're back at City Beach. It's been a crazy morning, rushing around. Luckily, we're not playing in the first division. We're actually having the AWB division play first. So it felt good to wake up and just focus on the setup here. And one thing we pride ourselves at this tournament is staying on schedule and starting on time. So that's what we're doing. Let's go see what the matches look like. part about running your own tournament is it's hard to focus on playing well because you're just so worried about things going well starting on time a million people asking questions so today I'm really hoping to have the tournament director do more of that stuff so I can just focus on playing I've been literally running around for like the last hour, making sure sport courts stay on schedule. And it's just so much work running a tournament. One system we tried doing this time is having the refing team text an image of the score sheet to Lyle, who's our tournament director, so that he doesn't have to keep walking back and forth between tables. And we can get things going, he can fill in the scores that way, but people forgot to do that, of course. So I had to go around and take a picture and send that. So we're still on schedule, but on schedule for tournaments means we're gonna fall behind eventually. So we gotta get things going. Now that the tournament is finally running on its own, I'm actually gonna go hit up 7-Eleven and fill up on my own snacks and drinks and food for when we play in the open division later in the afternoon, which is the division I'm playing in. Usually I like to get those items before the tournament, but I wanted to sleep in a little bit today to get some extra rest and just focus purely on making sure the tournament starts on time. Finally got some downtime, got all the 7-Eleven goodies for the day. My go-to has been the tuna sandwich. And you know, we got my favorite in-between game smoothies. It's fast, good sugars, vitamins and minerals. You feel refreshed because it's cold and fruity. And there we got Lyle, our tournament director. You guys remember him? Without him, this would not be possible. So going to let the tournament run itself. Not going to do anything for a couple hours. Probably just watch and enjoy. Try to get some more vlog footage, eat some food, and get some video editing done. So the pool play just finished. Now we're going to get into crossover. And there are some really, really close games. So Lau did his magic, calculated everything in 10 minutes. And now we're going to make the announcement for the crossover matches. So these matches should be even closer. It's only 11.30 a.m. and we're not playing for another two hours. I can't wait to play. I'm getting more sore standing. What's up? Just finished first round of crossover. Lots of close matches. Now I gotta sit down and eat so I have energy for my own play. I've been really enjoying this long subs from 7-Eleven. And chips, man, chips and sandwich are such a good combo. I just hope I can clear my mind and like not stress out too much about this tournament to focus on playing. Because if you guys remember from my last vlog, I played really poorly on the first day because I just could not like focus on my skills, just focusing solely on the tournament. So we'll see if I can dial it in later. I finally figured out all the seating, finishing A and B division. My brain is totally fried. Every tournament, I wish I could just be a player, but until we get things right, I can't relax. So now I'm gonna fully engage and try to play and do my best for my turn, which is the open A, double A division. Got my shoes, got my chargers, bands, jerseys, foam roller, time to get warmed up.
running and playing a tournament is just the most stressful thing. Having to get adults going and follow directions is one of the hardest things. I haven't had a chance to talk in between matches, but you guys know the results. Uh, we almost had House of Bards in the second one, but they're just such a good team. So hopefully we'll get a chance to see them in the playoffs. But really, really great team from San Diego. And man, we, you guys see that comeback from that third set. I think we're down like 11-19 or 11-18 we came back. Just chipping away the whole uh, time. But I think we're repping first and then we're off. Or I gotta get someone to eat first. one more round and then we play one more match and I think we're done after that. I'm exhausted from running the tournament this morning and then playing. Hopefully I can stay awake long enough to be able to play our last match because it should be a good one. Thank you. Dude, I am starving. We're at this kebab house. That's what we got here. Fries seem pretty crunchy. First taste test. Mm, pretty good. Good lamb flavor. Fries are not overly fried. Must have very clay. Okay. Must have very clear. Eight out of ten. And then Diet Coke. Refreshing. <laughs> that boba was okay, kind of mediocre. Maybe just not my preference because I've learned that everyone has their own preferences. Some people think some teas taste better than others, but let's just say that wasn't my preference. Not the sweetest, even though I got 100% sweetness. Tea flavor was good and strong, but there wasn't any like milkiness, not enough unity between the tea and the milk flavor. Anyways, just got home and I am tired, man. I have been up since 6.15. Had to go early, get set up for the tournament in the AWB division and then play of course and then we had a good chat at dinner how the day went and sneak peek for those who've been following my vlog you get privy to some early information talking about eventually developing an app to run tournaments not just so we can run tournaments better with an app but also to eventually license it out for people to run their own tournaments so that was fun talking shop with some volleyball people who are programmers with volleyball players Quick recap on the day. Uh, we are just back at rebuilding our tall ones again. As you guys know, we have John, who was our setter, who played with us for an entire year and then moved to New York. And then Chris, you guys know that the Spiking Viking was not there and it's not by accident. He just got a new house, got a promotion at work and his family responsibilities are growing so he can't play with us this season, unfortunately. I'll talk more about that later, probably tomorrow. Um, but we had a great sub today, Zach Hopkins. You guys remember him from USA Nationals. And then today we had Aaron Adams. I didn't even have time to like do a meet the tall ones. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I was just so busy running this thing. But we had Aaron Adams fill in as the other outside. He played great, but not bad. Um, I think last year was probably more disappointing when we first had our Elevate Invitational Tournament with that first one. This time wasn't as bad, but we still got a lot of work to do. House of Barbs was a really good team, great chemistry, and I felt like we played them with no chemistry. 
and we couldn't finish the match against Dimes, and that was frustrating. We had a chance to fill in, but we just yeah, we just couldn't slide out some. So hopefully tomorrow, our chemistry can be even just five or ten percent better, and we can dial in our connection. But this is to be expected for our first big tournament together. Um, Ben's a great setter. We're all learning, like giving each other feedback on how we want it. You know, I, we want to make sure we give him the passes higher and not too tight. I'm asking him to get me more of a loopy set. He's used to setting flatter and faster because he's used to playing uh, with bigger hitters. So that's been a nice adjustment. And then today we've been working on a middle connection. So another long journey ahead of us. Talk more about that tomorrow, but I got to go home and go to bed. See you tomorrow.